I Indie World. It's one of my favorite events of the year, believe it or not, because I'm just a big, 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 big Indies fan. Also, by the way, a shit hell damn uh, pooper doodle. Uh, just so the FTC knows that this is a this is not for good boys and girls. This is not for kids. Another indie event event has came and went, and I'm just giving my thoughts on it. So blah blah blah. Subscribe. I know you guys get sick of hearing all your favorite YouTubers say this, but goddamn, that algorithm is not doing me any favors. Also, it's nice to see Professor Utonium out and about again. It's been a while since I've seen you, my guy. Last time I saw you, you were in a very crappy version of the Powerpuff Girls. Not the great version of the Powerpuff Girls. That was awesome and incredible. But the ass sack, douche, crap, woke, garbage version of Powerpuff Girls. The, 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 the unpleasant one. The one I wish would go away. And we bring back the new one. God, I am spending a long time on this. So with that said, first things first. So... Indie event came out swinging, you know, uh, Sir Dorkitude was still there, or at least his disembodied voice was there, which was nice. He's, he's a cool guy. He's a dork. Uh, but, you know, I'm a dork too, and dork recognizes dork, and he looks pretty, he sounds pretty familiar. Anyways, they came out swinging. From the makers of Golf Story, we've got the sequel, Sports Story. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little hyped for this. If you have not played this game, please check this game out. I'm hoping that Golf Story actually goes on sale. So you guys can check that out. I highly recommend it. Please check that shit out. It's, it's, it's good stuff. I don't want to spoil it for you. The gameplay is good. The story is great. Solid mechanics. Just do it. I got it early on in the Switch's life cycle. Just do it. Do yourself a favor and treat yourself to it. Then we bust out with Street to Rage 4. Now this was kind of impressive. I remember seeing this at the that Xbox event. I can't remember if it was E3 that they showed it off or not. I, you know, I forgot about Battletoads even existing. But anyways. Streets of Rage, it's really nice to see them come back from the old Genesis, man. It's it, it's good stuff. I'm digging the animation for it. I love me a good mindless beat em up. You just jump in, beat the crap out of stuff, and uh, call it a day. Then you've got Gleam Light, and Gleam Light looks pretty good. I don't know really much about it, but it looks good. It looks like good stuff. Then you got Bacon Switch. You know, it's a, it's a little party brawler for, I guess, bakery chefs or something. They didn't show too much of it, but uh, it looks pretty good. I think it's worth checking out. You saw some about feeding dough to gods, or I don't, I don't fucking know. But anyways, the, the premise doesn't matter. It's just it's supposed to be for fun. But I will say I definitely can't wait for the the, the fighter reveals of Chef Emerald and then Gordon Ramsay as DLC. I think that'll be pretty fun. Now we move over to Super Mash. I I have like a love and hate relationship with like build your own games. Some of them can be really good. Some can be really crappy. I think mostly referring to like RPG Maker. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it really sucks noodles, or sucks ass, whatever you want to put it. Really thinking about Futurama for some reason. Anyways, that aside, yeah, Super Mash. It might be worth checking out. I'm digging the fact that you can combine different genres like platforming, RPG, or shooter, and all that other good stuff. I feel like something like this will easily be hit or miss. Man, I haven't heard that since earlier this year. This, I guess they never... No, unacceptable. I definitely think it's worth checking out. It's nice to see that Dauntless, I, I really dig Dauntless. I, I dig that it has that Fortnite aesthetic because I'm big on stylized animation and just stylized art in general. I love that because it, because it's timeless. You don't have to worry about it being like dated and, and craptacular as time goes on. And then you had, I think, oh, that's what I was trying to think of. Talos, I'm not a big puzzle person. When I was young and I didn't have much to do and uh, life wasn't so forbearing, I'm all about puzzles. Puzzles fun. Now, I fucking can't stand puzzles, so I wish the game the best. Was I think there was another game, Sailforth? I don't remember what happened with Sailforth, but it's probably good. Sorry, Sailforth, I, I apologize. Please don't send me an angry email, or, or do. I might read it, I might not. Anyways, Murder by the Numbers. A little story-driven adventure, nothing wrong with that. One thing that really got me that I was actually surprised about, and a lot of people were like, man, this is, like, they don't know anything about it. Odd World Stranger's Wrath. That is from left field. I'm not, like, crapping my pants or anything, but, you know, I, you know a little bit of a panty soak, just, just, just a bit. But Odd World Stranger's Wrath, this is one of the games that was actually on the very first Xbox. It is good stuff. It is really good stuff. It, it great gameplay, a pretty decent story, nothing wrong with it. It's, it's good stuff. Like the Odd World games have always been like fairly quality. So if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want, but I highly recommend checking out Odd World Stranger's Wrath. That is impressive. That's that's pretty sweet. 
<laughs> that's uh that's the cat's tuxedo. Anyway, skate bird, moving on to the uh, the enemy of the the cat. Well, if you're needing your ornithology and you're like your Tony Hawk pro skater kind of fix, then this really is the game for you. I'm I'm into it just because I like stupid things mashed together. And uh, I, it's been a long while. But I do like skating games, not very often. It's just some, it's weird. Like I don't want to buy a skating game, but if it gets put in front of me, I will gladly play it. It's something about doing tricks and stuff with them. It's just, it's kind of, it kind of brings you in. Like I don't give a crap about it like on paper, but it just, it's weird anyways. But you got to promise me Skatebird, you have to have a hawk in the game. I'm sorry, I mean Tony Hawk, man. You got to have him in there. Liberated. Looks like inside, but all grown up. It looks like it's, it's it looks good. I'll check it out. Boyfriend Dungeon. So it's basically this game. It's a female version of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So if you've ever wanted to bang your weapon, then this is the game for you. Or you can play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Either or is acceptable. Sometimes your weapons are just sexy, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So that was where that came from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boner. Then you got Dream Scrapers, which I, I, I dig the mysterious motif that it has. It has that mysterious loner bad boy kind of shit going for it. I think it'd be kind of nice. It has like a nice stylized. You guys know how I am about stylized games. I, I dig that crap. Yeah, it's got some good color to it. Interesting. I say it's, it's, it's probably gonna be pretty good or maybe boring as shit. I feel like it toes the line between the two. Then you got the survivalist. On this particular game, this is a survival game from Team 17. These are the peeps behind Overcooked and Ukulele. Honestly, you had me at Army of Monkeys. You get an army of monkeys in this game. Do you need anything else to sell you on it? And I believe that is all of it, but they have to do their whole, you know, Nintendo's gotta do their one more thing. Axiom Verge 2 coming out. It's a bit of a panty soaker, just, just a bit. I never really played the first one, but I've seen all the great reviews for it and I haven't met anybody that was disappointed with the game. Definitely, it's definitely good stuff to come out for an indie. Now let's be fair here, because if you compare it to a, just a straight up Nintendo Direct, it's, not, it's, it's night and day. Like there's like the money chasm to produce these games are, they're, they're miles apart, so you can't really just super hype that, and you're not gonna be as familiar with a lot of these products. That's why people were so familiar and so hyped about Golf Story. It was very popular. They're doing a sequel for it. It's got that recognition. You know, the, the indie games aren't gonna have the same recognition as like Mario or Zelda and all that other good stuff, or Pokemon. It's not really fair. And like I said, the money part is very important in that too. So. That aside, grading it on its own scale because indie is indie, uh, what can you say? This is a solid, this is a, I shit you not. This is a solid entry into the indie. I, I did like some of the, the elements of the one earlier this year better. Like, I mean, but you know, there's a bias in that because I, I absolutely love Cuphead and I love Zelda. What was that? I don't know what the, what was that noise? Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so Cadence of Hyrule, those kind of did it for me, so. It's a bias there, but on overall scale, it's good shit. It's really good shit. But like I said, I have a huge bias towards anything indie. Like I love people that like go out and do things for themselves, especially developers, artists, musicians. I love indie to death. I love it so fucking much. But apples to apples, it is what it is. It's a pretty solid, it was solid. It hit, had some good stuff in it. I won't say it's like the it won't be it would be the best one. I don't think it's the best, but damn sure it's solid. But anyways, that's that's all I really got to say for the indie world thing. Nobody's gonna really watch this video. I just want to get my thoughts in. If you just so happen to catch this particular one, hopefully it just helps you decide what you want going forward. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's good and you know what to look out for. With that said, that is the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, Patreon, because I'm broke as hell tiers start as low as a dollar a month and goddamn that helps if you don't want to do that that is completely fine it is what it is threadiverse.com got some fantastic sexy apparel in it treat yourself to something you can ignore the crap out of me but get yourself something nice i mean what why not man you got it. or female yeah, that depends treat yourself but with that said that is it casual verse um yeah goodbye I said goodbye, goddammit. Ah, uh, to be.
young again. Indeed, indeed. We need a little of romance in our lives, too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Thank <laughs> you.